Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, The Incredible Benefits of Fasting. Check out all my books on audible.com. You've heard a huge amount lately about intermittent fasting and that's sort of fasting and then not fasting and all this kind of stuff. And that's fine. I love that stuff. I think people should do that. I'm all in favor of it. Um, I fast every single day. You know, I eat in the ev evening and um, I stop eating, you know, right after dinner. And then, um, and then later in the evening, I'm going to drink some water. But I don't eat again until the following day till about noon. So it's morning here. Um, and right now, and it's about uh, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And I, you know, I feel, you know, hungry, a little bit hungry. I'm not starving. Uh, I don't have a headache or anything. I go through this 12 to 15 hour fast every single day. Well, it's the healthiest thing that I do each and every day. If you want to go on a fast for a day, that's very, very healthy. If you want to go three days, that's extremely healthy. You wouldn't go much more than seven day, maybe a 10 day fast. That, those are really long fasts. But I will tell you by the third day, you're not hungry anymore. So you got to make it to that third day and believe me, it'll just kind of go away. The habit of eating will sort of leave you for a while. But what are the benefits of fasting? Um, well, you know, not only they clear the body of all these toxins, so it's your best time to detoxify and, 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 you know, that you've got. If you keep eating and eating and eating, your body will really never release these toxins, these substances that don't belong in the body, so we refer to as poisons or toxins. You, you'll never do that if you don't stop eating for, for a time. Some people just have their three meals a day and they've never heard of going on a fast and not eating for six hours or 10 hours, let alone a couple of days. I've done it many, many times. I fast all the time. At this point, I'm really not very toxic, so I don't get your headaches, rash, diarrhea, or fatigue. But you can expect that if you go on a fast, especially if you're kind of a little bit older, you're 50, 60, 70, you've had a lifetime of these toxins building up in your body, and you want to release these toxins. And it's going to, and when you start releasing them all at once like that, it can be very unpleasant. Fasting gives the a body a chance to rest, repair, and cleanse itself. It really gives you, you know, this, this opportunity to really get in there and heal itself. Because if you're constantly eating foods, and especially if you're just eating, you wake up in the morning, have your eggs and toast and all this kind of stuff, these are not really healthy foods. You were led to believe that's a good hearty breakfast. First of all, the, what you should be eating for breakfast is nothing. And you should be just drinking water. That's for your breakfast should be every single day. The most important meal of the day. It's just a bunch of nonsense. It's, it's wives tales. It really was what it is. It's something that the medical establishment tells us all the time. I can just let you know a little clue. Um, don't listen to the medical establishment when it comes to health because they don't know anything about it. I mean, don't listen to me when I talk about medicine or medications or medical stuff. What do I know about it? I don't know anything about it. I keep my mouth shut when it comes to that stuff. I don't know anything about it. And quite frankly, I don't want to know anything about it. This idea that we need to get up and have a big hearty breakfast and all this kind of stuff. You're not going to be clear thinking if you don't have something in your stomach. When you're a kid and you're going to school, you really got to get something in that stomach. It's going to bother you throughout the day. You're not going to be able to concentrate. But as you get to, into adulthood, um, especially, and even as a child, you really got to start being a little stronger and being a strong person and stop eating all the time. Just take a break from food. It's not going to kill you. As a matter of fact, it's going to make you a lot more healthy. Rest, repair, detoxify. It gives you a chance to re for the body to really heal itself when you're going on a fast. And there's no better water to fast with than alkaline ionized water. Now, there's a few things you can do while you're fasting. You don't want to eat food, but you can take things like minerals. So if you want to take a mineral supplement, uh, perhaps a full spectrum mineral like the one I sell, or you want to do individual me um, minerals, that's fine. Um, humic acid, uh, really good for you. I take it almost every single day. Um, and fulvic acid, those are okay to take while you're fasting because those are not foods. They're not going to inter inter interfere with anything while you're taking them. They're nutrients in the sense that we need them, but they're not food. 
And that's the difference. If you have to digest something like chlorella or brown seaweed extract or just even a banana, then that's food and your body's going to start digesting. But when you're taking these minerals, and it's good to stay mineralized when you go on a fast. So fulvic acid is okay, humic acid, any other kind of mineral. Again, I send my full spectrum blend. But if you wanted to do magnesium or you wanted to do indium or platinum in the morning or whatever it is, you know, all these minerals, you definitely can do them and it's not going to interfere with your fast. So I generally stay mineralized. It's important. Uh, in particular, you know, take some magnesium. So you make sure your heart's got enough magnesium. Every time your heart beats, that's magnesium uh, that's being burned. And uh, so many heart attacks happen. Uh, number one killer in the world is heart attacks. And so many heart attacks happen because people just have magnesium deficiency. If you have a heart attack, you go into the hospital, the first thing they do they put you on a magnesium drip. Isn't that true, all you medical people out there? Yes, it is. And that's because they know that's the heart mineral. They want to strengthen that. It's the only thing they really know about it, put you on a magnesium drip. You should be taking magnesium every single day. You could take a liquid angstrom magnesium. Of course, I promote magtine, magnesium althreinate. That's for the brain. It also will help with the heart and you know any other magnesium needs in the body. Magnesium, of course, a very, very needed element in the body, very much used throughout the body. Fasting, the most important thing and the healthiest thing you can ever do, you should get into either intermittent fasting, which is good, or just fasting for an entire day. And if you throw a prayer or two in there, that's a good thing too. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. I said something I wasn't supposed to about something you probably know what I'm not supposed to talk about. And I said it one time and they, I lost half my subscribers. Uh, they demonetize me, bury my videos. So if you can, subscribe, like, put your comments below, share this video. I'm interested always in hearing from everybody. That really helps a lot. I've got four of my books now on Audible. The temple he was referring to was his body. Uh, it's a, honoring your temple through natural health. My best book so far is The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. That's my most comprehensive book. I wrote that one last year. Silver, The Miracle Mineral, The End of Infectious Disease, um, How I Got Meningitis, that's on Audible. My biggest seller for sure, The Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, The Definitive Guide to the World's Healthiest Substance. I have sold thousands and thousands of those for years.